Hey, welcome back everyone to you Monstar Gaming. Uh, just wanted to do a uh, quick review on this new game uh, that I just started playing. And I'm actually going to show you uh, a little bit about the game, but it's called Rumble Stars. And it came out about two weeks ago on the Play Store. And uh, it's very, very simple, sim similar sorry, to um, Clash Royale. So this is just the main screen here. I'm just going to show you uh, some of the characters here. So you have Froggy. He uh, catches the ball from a distance, shoots at the goal. So he's kind of interesting. You got Mr. Fire. He explodes. Striker Tiger shoots on goal. Lazy Panda is very lazy. They'll kick the ball as long as the ball is close to them. Raging Bull tackles nearby enemies. So which is awesome. It just goes and attacks everybody on the bad side. Uh, Loyal Dog always passes the ball to friends, never shoots goals. Everyone's true best friend. He's really good because he'll chase down a ball and then he'll pass it to one of your teammates. And then you have Magnet Man, which pulls one opponent Rumbler away from a distance. So that was really cool because you can kind of uh, control the other players really moving around. And then this guy is Sniper Wolf. He shoots with epic power anywhere in the field if given enough time to charge. So you're probably wondering, what is this game? Uh, and I already said it's very similar to Clash Royale because you're going, it's a PvP, player versus player, um, playing against real people. And uh, you have a team, just like in Clash Royale, and they all do different things, which we just talked about. And it's very much like a soccer game, really. Um, you're gonna fling these little characters out on the board and they are going to fight. So this is where I am right now, Dorado. Uh, so I'm at a thousand trophies, which isn't amazing. You know, I just started playing yesterday um, and then I'm level three up here. And then you collect money and then you collect these uh, green diamond things. And you can uh, win these soccer trophies down here, or soccer balls that will unlock uh, some benefits for you and you can do events and you can join um, clans or, or guilds or whatever you want to call them and uh, that's fun too so I'm just giving you a very quick quick overview of the game just so you can see kind of what everything looks like and then on this side here all the way on the left is where you can uh, buy stuff or if you get um, some daily items and things like that. So we're actually going to do a practice match just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and you can see here it does uh, look a lot like Clash Royale where they're on, the t they're on the top side, you're on the bottom half, and then you have your characters here. So he's using his uh, Tiger who is also a striker which means he will shoot on goal if, uh, you know, oh, let's see if he can shoot. Ooh, almost. Um, and then on the, you can see on the bottom here, this little thing that's counting from six to seven, uh, going up that way. And then each character has a value of, um, I guess with this one is energy. So you're waiting until you have enough energy to be able to um, launch these guys. So it, it does regenerate the little green bar down here. Oops. Oh, geez. Yeah, the wolves are very, very precise. So they're very dangerous. They can shoot for pretty much anywhere. Um, so what you do is you use your characters, which will, you know, come up periodically. Um, you always have four, and then it tells you what the next one is going to be. And you kind of keep cycling through them. The interesting part of this game, though, is each character has only a certain amount of uh, stamina so they can only play for a certain amount of time so they're not there the whole game so they will run out and they'll disappear you know once they are uh, tired basically um, so you do have to keep replenishing your characters and have different players out on the board but that's pretty cool though um, now the thing that makes this to me very different um, and almost better in a way is that you have all these characters that um, 
I don't know. It's like a soccer game. So, you know, I, I like I play soccer and I like playing games that are PvP and, and I like things like that. And I really like um, that there's a lot of randomization here. Um, when you first start playing, it definitely feels like the, like the field is just way too tiny. Like, how can you even play like a soccer match? It's just super tiny. But you'll see that um, the characters kind of run all over the place. Um, the, the board regenerates a lot. And there are a lot of skirmish type things going on. And the ball goes back and forth, back and forth. So even though it is a very small field, um, the ball will go all over the place. So you you're not often, you know, at the at the opposite side of the field, um, just waiting waiting around, or or the ball's not getting stuck in the corner or anything like that too often. Usually you're wrestling back and forth with the other guys. There we go. Perfect. Um, the matches are three minutes. Now you're playing for three goals, uh, whoever gets the most, or, you know, in three minutes, um, who scores the most goals. Um, the best thing about this game is that you do have to work combinations. You have to work with some of the guys that pass very well, and then some of the guys that are very defensive and will get in, in the face of the other team. Um, and then you also have to make sure that you have people up there who can strike on goal and score goals. So it seems very chaotic when you first start playing the game. Um, it seems like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And uh, like there's a lot going on. And, and there is. Um, but quickly you'll start realizing which characters work well with one another. Um, some of my favorites right now are definitely the Froggy. He's very good. He's very good on defense because if somebody shoots on goal and he's in the area, usually he can grab the ball with his tongue or on offense if he's near the goal you can send it to him he'll grab it and then shoot it off to the side which is really nice um, situationally the panda even though he doesn't really move if you can find a way to put him right next to the opponent's goal and you can get on the wall um, he can make a really quick one two uh, into the goal uh, another one that I really like but this one's kind of a pain in the butt to the other guy is the raging bull uh, he's funny because he'll just run after them and start knocking them out and stuff like that, um, which is fun and it you know gets into the person's head a little bit. Now, one thing that I didn't mention on this game is that obviously there's two goalies, um, but every single character in in the game, you know, during gameplay, can get knocked out if they get beat up enough. Uh, it will use up their stamina and then they will, you know, disappear and you have to replenish them. The same thing happens with the goalie. If you end up exploding the goalie or knocking them out or anything like that, uh, it usually takes about three seconds for them to replenish your goalie and bring another goalie back in. So there, there are going to be some situations where if you pummel them pretty good, they will have no goalie and you can score on them. But at the same time, that could happen to you, and that is a devastating feeling when your goalie is gone and they are just doing a shooting frenzy on you, which is not fun. But so far, I really, really like the game. Um, I am going to do some more videos that are going to go into certain things a little bit more in depth. Um, but this was just a uh, quick look at the game itself. And I'm just going to do another practice game just to give you a little bit uh, more footage here. So here's my striker, which is the that tiger. Oh, he did the same thing. Um, so they're very good. They will dribble the ball. They'll hold on to it pretty good. Um, and obviously when they have the opportunity, they will take a shot. Um, I have my froggy right there. Oh, geez. See, I almost got it in almost, almost, almost. So now I am going to put my, the dog, cause the dog will always pass to your teammate. Obviously if he can get there, he will pass it. Oh, good. See? So I was able to put the panda on the right side and it was a quick one too. And now he's doing the raging bull over there to, you know, get in my way, which is annoying, but that's fine. So now I'm going to do one of those to them and he's going to get in their way. So I am going to do this, explode that. And now there is no goalie, but I did not play the right card there to do anything about it. 
So that is my fault because I could have very easily shot on goal, but I had nobody over there. So you'll see there's a lot of there's a lot of tug of war. There's a lot of back and forth in this game. And, you know, once the their energy is used up, they go away. So you have to be very smart and you have to be ready to replenish your people on the field because if you don't, you're not going to have any players and can't win a game without players. So, all right. So, all right. He has nobody to pass to. So he's huddling in the corner. Let's see if he can get over there. Eesh. So it's funny. Um, I think this game versus Clash Royale, this one is a little bit more exciting in Clash Royale. Most often than not, if you're dominating, you're pretty much all set. I mean, sometimes obviously they can, they'll do, they can do more. Um, uh, they can, they can try to do something crazy, but most of the time, uh, you you kind of know if you're going to win near the end. Versus this one, there's a lot of times where you just get a really lucky shot, or there's a really lucky bounce somewhere, and that's all that you need to uh, to win. So, oh, and then there's a lot of situations where you will mess up and actually end up scoring on yourself, which is horrible. Um, but, you know, that's the luck of the draw. So I'm just going to finish this one off. Hopefully I can score right there. Score, score, score. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ugh, come on. Almost there, almost there. Score, score. Shoot, 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 shoot. 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 So he's going to shoot. Perfect. So sometimes it's just the right angle, the right bounce, the right everything does it all for you. So that was just a quick, quick look at the game. Check it out and please come back because I am going to have more videos that are going to go a little bit more in detail on certain things. And, and then, uh, you know, we'll keep exploring the game. All right. Thanks for checking us out.